everybody, Jill here. Welcome to my channel. We're having a wig chat today and we're taking a look at a Raquel Welch wig. And this is part of the fall 2022 launch for Raquel Welch. So it's new and it is also pretty darn affordable, especially when you're looking at a designer line like Raquel Welch. So we're going to go over the features, explain why it does land more in that pond and we are probably going to have to tackle some box hair i am thinking so if that's the case we are going to deal with that right here because it's very very common to run into that actually if you're a wig wearer and if you're thinking about becoming one i think it's a good dose of reality to show you and we are going to kind of go through what i would go through if i run into any issues with box hair so we're going to tackle that today too so stay with me all right so let's tackle this this is again on in 10 by raquel welch in the color shaded cappuccino you know i have actually experimented a little bit i've jumped out of my comfort zone a bit and experimented with some other colors this year in the Raquel Welch line. And I have yet to be disappointed. I really think that Raquel Welch has some of the most dynamic, gorgeous, natural looking colors for pieces, wigs, toppers. It's hard to miss, I think. And there are still some that I will be like scrolling on Instagram and, Graham, and somebody will pop up in a color I have not seen and think, holy cow, I need to try that one. So it is a little scary, I must say. You're, you're going out on a, on a limb and sort of gambling with those colors, hoping that you're gonna like it if it's one you're not familiar with. So I understand that. It is a bit of a gamble, but I find with lines like Raquel Welch, the gamble is a little less because they make such gorgeous colors. All right, so here we have On In 10. So the mere title, the, the mere name of it, <laughs> it tells me that I should be able to stick this on my head and just go out the door. So we'll see if that happens. So this is, this is shaded cappuccino. Uh, it's it's really really pretty. Again, it is dynamic, yet it is this nice bridge between going blonde and brunette. It's just this middle ground, and so it's nice either way. So say you kind of want to experiment more with the brunettes, this would be a good one if you've hung out in the blondes, and vice versa as well. Or people have corrected me. It's vice versa. I say vice versa. Okay. Before I get this on my head, we're gonna traditionally do this to where we're gonna take a quick look at the cap. So what are the features that just scream at me to tell me, okay, you know, this is why the price is where it's at. Well, let's, let's look at the top here. First of all, we do not have a lace front at all. We do have bangs, so that is a way around that and that you perhaps don't need to spring for a lace front if it's a style that it really isn't necessary. So we're gonna take a look at that. No lace front. We also do not have any monofilament up here at all. So that is a feature that gives us a nice realistic looking scalp kind of part, but we don't have that in this one. We're gonna see though, because I have plenty of wigs that I don't and I don't miss it. So we'll see how this is. We do have an extended nape, but it is not lined in that nice sort of felt lining, which for me cuts down on a bit of itching, but it is, I would say, an extended one. It comes down a little bit. The ear tabs slash temple tabs also are not lined with anything like that either. That is definitely something that I almost have to have, I'm gonna be honest with you, because I am just a hypersensitive person. My skin doesn't take much for things to irritate me. And so if I wanna wear a wig on top of being super hypersensitive to things, I have to have certain features to get me through my day feeling like, you know, I don't wanna just take this thing off when I get home. And so, yeah, this one doesn't have it. There are plenty of women who are totally fine without that feature because again guys this is why this is the price 
that it is. I do want to mention that the adjuster tabs back here are Velcro. Yay. That is definitely my preferred way to have those. So right out of the box, they're, they're in that kind of neutral position, you know, and that's usually where they stay with me. And I'll put my measurements down below in the description area. So you can kind of see what my measurements are. But yeah, generally, I don't really have to deal with um, adjusting those either way. I'm going to go ahead and get this on now. The style that I am wearing right now is a Raquel Welch wig as well, and it's called Flirt Alert, and it's in the color Shade of Biscuit. <laughs> I did shake this a little bit, as you can see, before I put it on, just to kind of get those fibers up and off the cap. Let me see. I am going to, these do still have metal stays, so I'm just going to kind of make sure that these are down against my sides of my head here so they don't pop up. They also do have those vertical metal stays back here in the nape. So I'm going to pinch those so it kind of cups underneath. I feel like my hair. And so I got those pinched to kind of keep this kind of cupped under the nape of my neck there. So when I wear a non-lace front wig, kind of what I like to do is I like to pull it back to where I can start seeing my own hairline. And then I just sort of fold it back down. So I, you have to be careful with these. It's a little, I don't know, it, it, it can fool you and then you'll end up kind of bringing it down a little too far because we're used to the lace. But so I like to bring it back to where I can see my own hairline and then I let it go. So it's still, you know, it's not like I'm wearing it back here, but I just do that and that seems to be a great place to to set there on my forehead or on the top of my head there okay so I am going to kind of get these fibers off of this cap because man they are smushed down and I just kind of want to care what it looks like and how silly it looks but I really do just want to get them up and off and that also helps me to kind of take a look and take stock of this style which I think so far looks pretty dang cute and I get a good feel of how what we're dealing with here okay before I do a spin I'm just gonna kind of this is okay we do have we definitely have box hair we have it right here in this whole front area here. Do you see that? It's kind of flat here. And so we do have some box hair from it sitting in the box. You guys, we have permatease all throughout this wig, really. But that, that permatease is seriously going to be a lifesaver. It's going to be something we really need to utilize and not be afraid of up here because it is going to make us fine and okay with the fact that we don't have any monofilament. It is your friend and it's something that is going to make it work. Here's here's kind of where that, that box hair is right here. But before we really do anything, I'm going to go ahead and give you a spin so you can see what this looks like all the way around. So just take note that I do not have that tall of a neck at all. It's not very long. So if you do have a taller neck, um, you know, this is going to hit you different. And if you have a shorter neck, you know, just keep all of that in mind. I'm just kind of messing with it. We can put this anywhere we want because, well, there is no monofilament. So it's okay to move it around up there. And again, we just kind of want to lift it. We have more of a shorter should I go down a little okay we have more of a shorter layering going on here then it gets 
longer and then we still have you know more layering and tapering down here so lots of layers but it is definitely shorter kind of up in here than it is uh you know down here so. i like the length and i also like these layers here so it's not too awful heavy down here because i think if it did that it would be really outdated it would be really dated i think but we have a lot of great layers so that saves it i think i'm gonna get some hairspray we have a few here we have wig spray this one is by brandy wine we have wig wax this is aerosol this is by trust tech and then we have this one here. This is by Hair You Wear and it's called Control. It is also an aerosol. Now, I'm just kind of taking a, a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of do a side tuck. So I want less bulk over here. So this side tuck, you know, looks okay. So I'm gonna kind of, Get these fibers over here. And I'm doing this for a couple reasons. I'm doing it because we had some pretty good weird box hair right in here. So I'm gonna try to get a little more, well, I'm just gonna try to get the more fibers over there and kind of see if we can lift that a bit and um, help that for now. So I'm actually gonna go in with the pump. It's a little heavier, it's a little waterier. And these fibers, I, I must be very dry in this room because they're, it's wanting to kind of stick to the cap and be a little bit, you know, more staticky, a lot of static electricity. So I'm going to go in with more of a wet hairspray. I'm going to back away from my equipment. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try this one. I'm kind of just experimenting right now, guys. I think you're gonna to have to embrace the bang because we don't have a lace front so I do have a taller forehead if you have a shorter forehead you're probably going to ask can I trim the bang in to fit me more and I would say absolutely I would make sure you wisp it out 
And if you're not comfortable with doing that kind of thing, definitely search out a cosmetologist, a stylist, somebody like that that is very comfortable in doing that and, and good at what they do. So they can make a style fit you and, and therefore it will become you and you'll feel really great in it. I think this, this style would look the best a little messy because I think if we were to start really getting in there and styling it, I think it would have a tendency of going more toward a dated look personally. So I think this is adorable. I like kind of having some of it come forward and I just think messy is best. It's one of those styles that if the wind blows a little bit and you're just kind of like, uh, it's probably gonna look great, you know, <laughs> because we have so many layers in this and layers are movement and Pieces like this need to just, you know, allow themselves to just do what they need to do, you know? So that would be how I would recommend embracing this one is try not to overstyle it. I have a tendency of overstyling just because I mess and mess and mess with it and have fun, and then I've overstyled it. So yeah, I, I think this one, it's cute without really making it too styly. <laughs> so say we want to do a little something. My whip grip has decided to not help me out at all. We don't, so let me just, okay, so there is, oh, I think the wefts are gonna probably hide themselves pretty well because that root is so dark that I think it'll be fine. And we don't have, it. it's not super long up here, but I'm just gonna try something. I'm gonna do my traditional go-to. Yeah, my wig grip is not. And then I like to, to tuck both sides and I think that looks pretty cute. Again, fill in powder over here for sure. Um, maybe a little more here too, but yeah, I mean, I don't really miss the lace front in this style really at all. Is it, would it be nice to have? Sure, but the price is going to increase substantially if we had, you know, a beautiful lace front. I think we need to talk about the denier and these fibers a little bit because that is a highlight of this piece, I think, is that it, these fibers are beautiful. They're very realistic because that could make or break any style, any wig. Being it's Raquel Welch, you know, you're, you're still getting this really lovely, beautiful fiber that's making up this style. It's realistic. It's not too coarse, it's not too fine of a fiber. It's just a very realistic fiber. And that means it's gonna translate, you know, in ways in the way it moves, um, when the wind blows, it feels real. It's just a beautiful fiber. And when you're looking at eliminating a lot of these features, because you need to keep that price point down, you want to know that the fibers of the piece are going to be beautiful and realistic and move well and feel good and you won't have you know anything but that kind of experience with this now i do want to mention that if you are an it stays girl like i am and you like doing the low pony it stays around the perimeter i find it it stays does not work with the closed cap and that material. It just never works for me. And maybe it does for you, but I've never had it work for me. It doesn't, it doesn't adhere at all. 
So for me, I would have to wear a wig grip with this style. And that's a little bit of a bummer if I want to wear it all day because it's not my most comfortable way. Yeah, that's kind of a little bit of a bummer for me. Also, I want to let you know, but re keep in mind that I am super, very sensitive. I'm just very hypersensitive. But I do feel the sort of prickliness right around here where that permatees goes pretty much to the very front of the cap it you it kind of it does and so yeah i actually am having some itching right in through there so uh i just want to let you know that you're getting a basic cap within the Raquel Welch line and you're still benefiting from the cap construction. You're still benefiting from the beautiful fibers, the gorgeous line of colors they give you and a really cute style. So, so yeah, I was really excited to show you this one today and I hope you found it helpful. As always, you can find the specs, you can find the links and everything that you need to know down in the description area below this video. You can always find the wig that I had on before. That'll be down there as well, along with a link that'll take you to that wig chat so you can learn more if it was something that interested you. All so, right, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye-bye.